Open UI is a tool which enables you to create user interfaces just with the help of text prompts and images. You can either enter your English text prompts in simple language and it will create user interfaces out of it or you could simply take an image of any of the website or user interface you like, upload it to open UI and it is going to get it replicated and create a user interface for you. You can even edit it afterwards or on the fly. In this video, I am going to show you how you can get open UI locally installed on your Windows system. I have one GPU card of 16 GB of memory on my system, but you don't need a GPU. If you have a good CPU plus around 16 GB or 32 GB of RAM, you should be good to go. One prerequisite of this is that you should have OpenAI's API key. So go to platform.openai.com and from there you can have your OpenAI key. That is a paid option. Just put in around $10 in your account and you should be able to get the key. It won't cost you $10, but just you need to have at least that much amount in your OpenAI's account. Once that's done, also make sure that you have installed Git on your local Windows system. Just Google Git, go to Git website, download the exe and click next, next, next and you should have Git installed. Okay, that's done. The first step we need to do is to go to this github repo and i will drop the link in video's description scroll up click on this green button grab this url click on your windows start button and then open powershell just type powershell here and then right click run as administrator and it should open this powershell terminal for you let me go to a uh, desktop i think i like to work on the desktop let's make the directory maybe i'll just say it open ui for you maybe then let's go to cdou let's clear it and here simply type git clone and then paste press enter and it is going to um, git clone our repo here and then let's go to cd open ui that is also done let's clear the screen dir and you will see that there is there are a lot of folders there which we need to uh, install okay now once that's done this is the time to set your open ai's api key so as i mentioned earlier go to platform.openai.com from there grab your open ai's key and then we need to set it as an environment variable you can either set it to environment variable in windows like just in the start type environment variable edit the environment variable then set it there or you can set it in powershell by using this command and you just need to replace your OpenAI's API key in this command which I have pasted here. I already have set my OpenAI's API key so I'm not going to do it again. Let me clear my screen. Once you have set your OpenAI's key then go to backend directory. So just cd to backend. Let's clear the screen and here all you need to do is to just to pip install dot and it is going to install all the prerequisites. Let's press enter and let's wait for it to install all the dependencies. It will take a bit of a time, so let's wait for it to finish. All the prerequisites are done. Let's clear the screen. And now we need to run it and you can simply run it by typing python dash m open ui and then press enter and it takes a bit of a time to start so let's wait for it to fully fully run here so as you can see that application has started by just running that python dash m open ui and then you can go to your local host at port 7878 in the browser and you will see that open ui is running here now here you can do a lot of things you can either click here to upload one you can drag a screenshot of user interface or you can simply talk with it by using your ui here um, in the chat box let's go to google's website let's take um, a snippet of it by snip and then let's see if our tool is able to generate it so i'm just going to grab new this google thing and then 
I'm going to save it at my local system at the desktop and then I'll just say Google image and maybe I'll just save it in the desktop let's close it let's go here and then from the desktop let's grab it so you've selected it let's wait for it to load takes a bit of a time So it's I think some for some reason Google is not working. So let's grab another one. So what I have done is I have gone to this Vandibis website. I grab grab this image and then I have pasted it here. And you can see that it has already started creating the user interface uh, as per that sign up and request demo. Now one cool thing with uh, with this you can do you can simply ask for changes to the current ui by typing something here so make the background color to blue something like that and then uh, it is going to change it into the blue or you can create an alert here or something like that and then click on the right and there you go the color is blue now you can also for example click on this sort of magic button on top left select uh let's say this item and say change the color of text to let's say i would say orange click submit there you go so isn't it magic and then um, you can for example say create an alert with confirmed success design a date because these are the uh, prompts you can do your own you can then download it you can share it and then you can copy it it is html you can go with J, you know jsx or click on this plus sign you can go with views well preact react lot of options are there you can simply convert it to um, any of the options from here and then as i mentioned earlier you can simply go with design a date picker component that integrates with the form so let's click on it and then it is running automatically select the dates and you can just um, select anyone from here change the color to any to maybe green or something like that so you got the idea that we can change the color and we can change the ui and it starts creating the code at the bottom as you can see and then of course you can go back to your previous chat on the top left menu and then one great thing is that it is all running locally privately all we have done is we have specified the key to open ai and this is all um, with the own range because it is running in the browser you can share it among your team and then go from there another cool thing is that it also supports olama so you can just simply install olama on this server and then use any open source uh, large language model to run at the back end that portion is still i believe bit patchy so uh, but this one is really supreme courtesy to open ai's power so that's it guys i hope that you enjoyed it the installation and how it works so really good stuff by open ui really loved this project if you and i'll drop the link to it in the description of course if you like the content please do me a favor and consider subscribing to the channel and if you're already subscribed then please share it among your network as it helps a lot thanks for watching